Natasha Benningfield knows how to write an anthem that makes you believe. And after four long years, she's finally back with a new piece of music that is helping making a gigantic difference. Please welcome one of my favorite singer-songwriters, the fabulous Natasha Benningfield. Hello. Thank you. Uh, we, you know, about eight years ago when I was doing morning radio, Natasha came because she had a song that I fell in love with and I wanted to know about that she had written. And you probably know it. Unwritten? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you wouldn't mind, just give us very quickly why you wrote this piece. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I wrote it for my little brother. Yeah. Um, and um, it was uh, it just, you know, that thing of like when you're just starting out in, in life. Yes. Um, and, you know, life is a blank page. So he just inspired me. I and, love it. Yeah. And you're working on a new yeah. album I right am. now, and you're yes. working with your husband for the first time. Is that right? I did. Yeah. I, I, How was I, that? I never worked with my husband, but he he has just been making the most incredible music. So right. I ended up uh, jumping in on what he's doing, and we wrote a, a great song together. And why is this song important? Okay, so this is a song that the brand Philosophy, the, 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 the skincare brand. Yes, we love they, Philosophy. Yes, yes, we love them. And they um, came to me and they asked me if I could write a song um, that is uh, called Hope. And it's about um, mental health. It's, it's to inspire people to get around people who have got uh, problems with mental illness, particularly women. I mean, it's actually a much bigger issue than people really realize. And what gives you hope? I know this was a personal yes. endeavor for you, right? Oh, um, music gives me hope. For me, I, I go through, um, you know, I'm on stage and I get to feel the, the most glamorous and, you know, high, incredible moments. And then I come off stage and that sometimes you come home and then I'm clean, cleaning up poop for, for <laughs> okay. my puppy dog. And, yeah. Or, you know, like terrible tragedies happen, and, you know, in everyone's lives. But then it's, it's, it's the music that kind of brings me back. And I know that you're as obsessed with your dog as I am I know, with my I new know, puppy, yeah. so I, I, can I ask dog? you, yes, what, tell me about the puppy and the okay, love. he's called Dude, and he's a Pomeranian. He's called Dude, for real? Yeah, and I've I never had that. a puppy before, so I'm just, like, completely besotted, and, learn, you know, my heart is open. It's, my puppy's cheating yeah. on me with Whoopi. Really? <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's another story. Sorry. So, here to perform her new song, Hope, for all of you, is Natasha Benningfield. Thank you. Thank you. It's over on TV. The conversation's just getting started. The hot topics keep going online 24-7. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. For web exclusive, a backstage view, to weigh in on the hot topics on your mind and the topics you want the host talking about. sure that you guys are aware of a couple of things. One of the great things that's happening tomorrow on this show is we're going to get a little missive from our own Rosie Perez. Because, you know, there's all these crappy rumors going around. Rosie's got something to say to y'all, and part of it is hello. So she's going to be with talking to us tomorrow. Then, Stacey London has an amazing show, Love, Lust, or Run, which you saw. It premieres this Friday on TLC. We love it. Natasha Benefit, she is not playing. Jen, tell us what you're doing. Oh, I'm taping a comedy special on January 31st in Austin. Where? It's called I Can, At the North Door, and my special is called I'm Gonna Die Alone and I Feel Fine. <laughs> it's gonna be really funny, so come on out to that. That's right. You're not, because we're all coming to see you. Oh, yeah. good. We <laughs> love you. Thank you. Thank you guys for sticking with us. We'll be back tomorrow.